Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ada Obintudu and today I'm going to be talking about our lips and how to keep them really moisturized and soft and supple and just you know pop in for summer because it's almost summer the sun is out everywhere is so vibrant so I'm kind of like um, in a place where I'm very or oh, I'm quite conscious of taking care of this region like my face and how I glow and so sometimes we just take care of every part of our body and then we forget to take care of our lips and our lips whether you like it or not is very very vital for makeup to actually pop like if you need your makeup to like come alive you need your lips to be in with it so yeah um, the interesting thing about today's video is that most of the things that we're going to be using to take care of our lips are things that we have at home. They're just, there's nothing special I'm bringing to you today, but they're things, ridiculous things that you have at home that you would never think are so good and so nourishing for your lips. Like, got flowers, we all have flowers at home, um, and we walk past it, but surprisingly, it's really good for the lips. We've got fruits, we've got cucumber, and, um, I've got a pint of meal, things like honey and uh, coconut oil. It's just basic things. There's nothing special about the ingredients or the things that you need to use. But I'm just going to show you quickly how these things are amazing for your lips. What I find is that most times we're quick to use um, chapstick to do a quick fix. But I find that that doesn't really work for me because it just kind of masks the problem for about two to three minutes or maximum five minutes and then once it wears off we're back to really dry and painful lips so it's best to just do it properly for um results that will last for days and weeks and months so yeah i'm going to show you seven very easy ways to get those lips looking very soft and supple and ready for the summer let's get to it guys so i'm going to first start with um turmeric Turmeric is so vibrant in color and the smell as well is so ugh, it's disgusting. So usually all you need to do is I'll put some turmeric in here and then add just a little milk and we're there. Actually we're trying to achieve a pasty pasty consistency so you put quite a lot of turmeric and you have this kind of thick paste now that goes on the lips actually I have makeup on so I need to take this out of my face so I'm just gonna take that out by the way just doing that is not good for your lips because it's just going to make it really dry Ooh, let's throw that out I have a bean by my side here so um and then all you need to do is apply this on your lips this doesn't taste good guys. Ugh. Doesn't smell good either. Mm. So you press that together. Oh gosh, I'm eating it. <laughs> Ugh. It's disgusting. How do I look? Guys, I smell like Indian food right now. So just leave this on for about 20 to 30 minutes and let your lips soak in the goodness. After you've washed off that um, paste off your lips and um, all you need to do is apply some Vaseline and go to bed with this just overnight with the Vaseline on your lips and your lips will be as supple as anything by the morning time the next one we're gonna try is the sugar so we're gonna use sugar one tablespoon of sugar and some olive oil you can use olive oil or you can use coconut oil whichever one you have it doesn't really matter I don't think as long as they're all natural and um, I'll go for olive oil so I'm just gonna pour in very little olive oil so after making the paste all you need to do is take a a bit of the mixture or paste and just scrub against your skin against your lip it tastes really good it's yum mm. <laughs> it's so good for eating it's not for eating guys just do the job and throw away the rest of it 
The thing is, um, olive oil, we all know what olive oil does. It's very good for the skin, it's good for eating, it's good all around. And then sugar, which on the other hand is terrible for you, is actually good for this because it has like an exfoliating nature, like it's just rough and you know, just sandy against the skin. So what it does when you rub it like this, I'll come closer, when you rub it like this against your lips, is that it just like takes away all like the dead skin. It leaves you with a really soft guys look at how ah yellow my lips are from that turmeric paste. You can even rub your lips together like that. I then leave that on for another 20 to 30 minutes and let everything sink in, especially the olive oil. And then apply your um Vaseline again before you go to bed. And the next day your lips will be just fantastic. Mwah! So guys, I figured that my background was so boring. So I went and brought my um indoor sort of tree just to give it some life. I don't know. This is this has helped, but I needed something behind me. Um anyway, back to it. The next one is very, very easy. It's just honey and Vaseline so for this one you have to do it once uh, once or twice a week every week for for as long as you can as long as you want to and just keep it going for that continuous moisturized um, lip so all you need to do is take some honey I put some honey into this bowl here I'm just gonna dip my hand into um, Vaseline and just rub it into the honey together just like that it's very thick and very sticky so that is all you just need to apply that to your lips oh feels so smooth i know this is vaseline and gosh i hope it's not bad to my system but it tastes really good when it mixed when it's mixed with honey this is sweet really sweet but I'm trying not to lick it like I did with the sugar and the uh, olive oil because why would I be licking Vaseline? Why would I eat Vaseline? Yeah. So I think you have to leave this on for another 20 to 30 minutes. Then you can wash it off and then apply again the Vaseline over your lips before you go to bed. The next one we're going to do guys is the cucumber. Cucumber. Cu cu cucumber. Cucumber. Cucumber whatever <laughs> all you need to do for this one very easy you don't have to mix anything i've got right in the middle and just take about one or maybe even just two slices just like that and what you want to do is just put it in your lips like this for about 20 to 30 minutes what i don't want to do is i can eat it and then i cut another slice I mean it gets boring just having cooking butter on your lips like that so just eat it and get fresh ones hmm while trying to get my lips moisturized by the slices and um, I think that just helps time pass by quickly like just feel free and snap on it while you're on the job and um, yeah so this is what I have left and my lips are well moisturized right now I can feel it so basically all you need to do again is use your Vaseline just before you go to bed and then see the magic that happens by the morning time so guys if like me any of you don't really like sugar like I don't because I feel it makes me gain weight and all that so I really don't like seeing sugar I really don't like using sugar or anything and um, if you don't have sugar at home it's fine if you have your normal everyday exfoliating stuff this is the one that I use it's, it's beat Nike or beat Nike or whatever acting actually get it ordered from South Africa and it gets sent down to me it's an exfoliating wash just a little bit like the sugar mixture it's very exfoliating so i usually use this for my face but 
if you don't want sugar or you don't want to have to go and buy any lips exfoliating whatever just use the one they use for your face and just sort of like go over your lips like that in fact when you're having a shower and you're washing your face as a whole after you exfoliate your face just go ahead and exfoliate your lips alongside you find that you don't have to spend extra money keeping your lips looking so cool. I find this the easiest actually and the cheapest way because I don't have to buy it. I'm using it and I'm talking to you so everything is getting into my mouth so I'm going to say this really quickly so I don't have to buy extra exfoliating product I just exfoliate my face and uh, I can't even swallow my saliva and my lips at the same time so just scrub 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 and face down lips uh, sorry guys I had to quickly go wash that off my face it was so bitter, it was unbelievable. Uh, I can still taste it. The truth is if I was doing it normally, like, like when I'm having a shower, I wouldn't be speaking, right? So it wouldn't have to get into my tongue or my mouth or whatever. But because I was trying to speak to you guys, the whole thing was just in my mouth and it was so bitter. Next one would be, um, yeah, let's see what we can do with these raspberries. I think it's just amazing that these come handy i know that anything berries are really really nourishing and very good for the skin i'm gonna be mixing this raspberries and rose water together to make a paste that i'm just gonna this is very moisturizing i'm sure you all have this um if you don't it's just something that's really good for moisturizing your face but again you can use this in your lips most products that are good for the face are good for the lips anyway i think i'm just gonna need one i've got a poundy thing here actually let me use this plate it's transparent <gasps> so i'm gonna pound that just like that all right so i have that paste i'm just gonna pour a little bit of rose water glycerine and rose water and then I'm going to mix it up just like that. And this, my darlings, is what goes on the lip. So you take it like that. You just apply it really. So you leave this on for another two to three, um, 20 to 30 minutes. And then obviously you wipe it off or you wash it off, whatever you like. Apply your Vaseline and, well, just before bed and wait for the magic to happen by morning time. So finally, the last but not the least is going to be rose petals and milk. So for this one, all you need is just to take two petals off your um, bouquet at home. If you have rose pet if you have a rose flower at home just take two like that and just soak it in water for an hour or two um, so you probably would have done it in the morning before you use it maybe in the afternoon or evening and then all you need to do these are already well these are not the soaked ones I have already soaked ones here I'm just gonna exchange it for that and put in your milk just a dash is fine you don't want it too watery, so you just put a dash of milk and you blend it together like that. Actually, I'm thinking I shouldn't make a paste. I'm thinking I should just leave some of it um, whole so that I can just plaster it on my on my lips. Okay, that's me trying to make a paste, but I think I'm just going to leave it in whole bits like that so I can just paste it on my lips I'm just gonna apply the petals on my lips just like that see what I mean that way it sticks easier there we go so I'll leave that on for 20 to 30 minutes and get those lips all nice and moist and moisturized and just apply Vaseline and you take that to bed and your lips will feel amazing by the morning. So guys, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe. And also don't forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Oops, guys. I just remembered I was supposed to use a toothbrush to apply one of the mixtures. I was supposed to use that to like, you know, scrub on my lips. But I forgot. Sorry. Bye.